Welcome back to Park and Post. Today we're embarking on a journey unlike any other. Imagine exploring the bustling streets of Bangkok, the historic paths of Rome, or the vibrant markets of Marrakesh. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the twist. We're diving into the top 20 cities across the globe where tourists like you and me are most likely to encounter those not-so-fun travel scams. But fear not. I'm here to arm you with the knowledge to spot these scams from a mile away and enjoy your travels worry-free. We've got everything from the classic taxi overcharge in New Delhi to the infamous pickpocketing on the streets of Barcelona. And we'll share some jaw-dropping stories that will have you both entertained and educated. So, if you love traveling as much as I do, but want to stay savvy on the streets, keep watching because this is one journey you won't want to miss. Are you ready to explore the world smartly and safely? Let's dive in. First stop, Bangkok, Thailand. A city of endless discovery, but beware the tuk-tuk scam. Bangkok remains a hotspot for travelers seeking its vibrant street life, historic temples, and bustling markets. However, visitors should be wary of the tuk-tuk scam where drivers offer a very low fare for what is promised to be a comprehensive city tour. Instead of a tour, tourists are taken to several shops and businesses that offer commissions to the drivers for bringing in potential buyers. These stops often include gem shops, tailor shops, and souvenir stores, where tourists are pressured into making purchases they didn't intend to. A recent example of this scam involves tourists being told that popular tourist attractions are closed for a special holiday or for lunch, and the tuk-tuk driver suggesting an alternative tour that leads to these commission-based stops. Next, number two, Barcelona, Spain, where the art is as rich as the pickpocketing tactics. Barcelona is renowned for its architectural marvels and lively street scenes, but it's also infamous for pickpockets, especially in crowded areas like La Rambla and the metro stations. Tourists are often targeted in these areas because they are distracted by the sights and sounds, making them easy prey for thieves. A modern iteration of theft involves the use of scooters on busy streets. Thieves on scooters snatch bags and phones right from the hands of pedestrians or from open tables at street cafes. Another current scam is the fake petition, where individuals ask tourists to sign a petition, usually for a noble cause, only to pickpocket them or ask for a cash donation as they are signing. Number three, Paris, France, the city of love, and sadly, the gold ring scam. In Paris, the gold ring scam remains prevalent, where a scammer pretends to find a gold ring on the ground and offers it to the tourist, suggesting it might be gold and of value. When the tourist takes it, the scammer asks for money in return for the ring, which turns out to be worthless. Another contemporary scam in Paris involves fake petitions, often by individuals claiming to represent deaf-mute organizations. While one person distracts the tourist with the petition, another picks the tourist's pockets. Number four, in Rome, Italy, not all roads lead to joy, especially if you catch a taxi. Rome's historic allure is often marred by taxi scams, where drivers take longer routes or avoid using the meter to hike up fares. In a bid to combat this, the city has introduced fixed fares for common routes, such as from the airport to the city center. However, some drivers claim ignorance of these fixed rates or insist they only apply at certain times. Additionally, near major tourist sites, Unofficial guides offer tours without proper credentials, providing inaccurate information or charging exorbitant prices for a subpar experience. Number five, Prague. Czech Republic beauty is unmatched, but so are its currency exchange scams. Prague is known for its beautiful architecture and historic sites, but also for its currency exchange scams. Unwary tourists are drawn into exchange offices offering poor rates or hidden fees, significantly reducing the value of the exchanged money. 
A modern twist on this is the ATM scam, where machines are programmed to offer dynamic currency conversion, resulting in poor exchange rates and high fees. Additionally, some bars and restaurants in Prague have been known to present tourists with a bill that includes items they did not order or use menus with small print stating different, higher prices for tourists. Number 6. Bali, Indonesia is a paradise with a dark side. Bali's picturesque landscapes and cultural experiences attract millions of tourists who also become targets for various scams. The motorbike rental scam is particularly prevalent, with tourists renting bikes that are later claimed to have been damaged or stolen, demanding exorbitant fees for repair or replacement. Modern variations include GPS tracking devices hidden on bikes to locate and steal them back, only to charge the tourist for the stolen bike. Additionally, Bali has seen an increase in fake ticket scams for temple entries or cultural shows, where sellers offer tickets at a discount, which turn out to be invalid. Number 7. Marrakesh, Morocco, where the markets are as colorful as the scams. Marrakesh's markets are famous for their vibrant atmosphere and diverse offerings, but they're also a breeding ground for scams. Tourists are often led by unofficial guides into shops where they are pressured to buy overpriced goods. A recent development is the Helpful Local, who offers to guide tourists out of the maze like Medina, only to lead them to specific shops or demand money for their guidance. Additionally, the city has seen a rise in spice scams, where vendors sell dyed materials as rare spices at inflated prices. Number 8. Istanbul, Turkey, is a city where continents meet and scams flourish. Istanbul straddles two continents and offers a rich tapestry of culture and history. However, tourists should be cautious of the friendly local scam, where individuals strike up a conversation and eventually invite the tourist to a bar, restaurant, or club, leading to a surprisingly high bill at the end of the evening. Another version of this involves counterfeit goods, particularly in the Grand Bazaar, where tourists are sold fake brands at what seem like bargain prices, but are, in reality, vastly overpriced for their quality. Number 9. In Hanoi, Vietnam, the street food is delicious, but the street scams? Not so much. Hanoi's bustling streets and rich cultural heritage draw tourists, but it also has its share of scams. One prevalent scam involves street vendors or taxi drivers giving incorrect change or intentionally misunderstanding the fare to overcharge tourists. A modern instance of this scam involves electronic payments where the amount charged is significantly higher than agreed upon, exploiting tourists' unfamiliarity with the local currency. Additionally, Hanoi has seen a rise in fake travel experiences, where tourists are sold exclusive tours that turn out to be ordinary tours with inflated prices, or tours that are drastically shorter and less comprehensive than advertised. Number 10. New Delhi, India, where history meets hustle. New Delhi's rich history and bustling markets make it a fascinating destination, yet travelers often face scams. Taxi and auto rickshaw drivers sometimes insist on taking tourists to specific hotels, shops, or travel agents where they receive commissions. A contemporary example is the government tourist office scam, where drivers mislead tourists to fake tourist offices that sell overpriced or non-existent tours and services. Another common scam involves SIM cards sold to tourists that either stop working after a short period or have significantly less balance than promised, leaving them without a means to communicate or navigate. Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. And don't forget to join our free newsletter and become a friend of Park and Post. By signing up, you'll receive exclusive offers and updates. Click the link below to join our newsletter and start enjoying the benefits today. But let's get back to the topic. 
Top 20 Cities Where Tourists Are Easily Get Scammed Number 11. Buenos Aires, Argentina, where the tango is passionate and so are the scams. Buenos Aires is celebrated for its culture and nightlife, but tourists should be cautious of the mustard or bird dropping scam, where a substance is surreptitiously placed on a tourist's clothing, and while someone appears to help clean it off, an accomplice pickpockets the victim. Another modern scam involves fake currency exchange, where tourists are given counterfeit pesos, especially when exchanging money on the street or in unofficial establishments. This scam has evolved with the increasing sophistication of counterfeit notes, making them harder to distinguish from real currency. Number 12. In Mexico City, Mexico The vibrant capital is known for its rich cultural heritage, but also for scams targeting tourists. Fake police officers are a particular concern, where individuals posing as law enforcement accuse tourists of a crime and then demand a bribe or fine. A more recent scam involves taxis equipped with card readers that clone credit or debit card information. Another prevalent issue is the sale of counterfeit goods at markets, where tourists are sold items like silver jewelry or branded products that are fake. Number 13, Cairo, Egypt. A gateway to the past is also home to the pyramid scam. Cairo offers unparalleled access to ancient history, but also presents challenges like the pyramid scams. Camel and horse ride operators near the Giza pyramids often quote one price for a ride, then demand additional fees for dismounting or for taking photos. A modern adaptation involves online ticket sales for historical sites that are fake or vastly overpriced, preying on tourists' desire to secure entry to these iconic locations. Additionally, the spice scam in Cairo involves selling tourists common spices as rare or unique at highly inflated prices. Number 14. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Known for its stunning beaches and vibrant carnival, Rio also has a reputation for scams. Overcharging in taxis remains a problem, with some drivers taking longer routes or claiming fixed prices that are above the metered rate. A current scam involves fake rental listings for apartments or vacation homes, where tourists pay a deposit or the full amount up front, only to find the accommodation does not exist. Additionally, there are reports of ATMs being tampered with to skim card information, particularly in tourist-heavy areas. Number 15. Athens, Greece Where history is alive and so are the scams. Athens, with its ancient ruins and lively streets, is not immune to scams. Taxi scams here often involve drivers refusing to turn on the meter or claiming a higher fixed rate for tourists. An emerging scam involves online ticket sales for historical sites and museums, where tickets are sold at a markup or are fake. Additionally, Athens has seen instances of restaurant scams where menus without prices lead to exorbitantly high bills, especially in tourist-centric areas like Plaka. Number 16, Las Vegas, USA. The city that never sleeps and neither do the scams. Las Vegas's glitzy exterior hides various scams, including timeshare presentations that promise free gifts in exchange for attending a sales pitch, which often lasts longer and is more high pressure than initially disclosed. A modern scam involves nightclub promoters offering VIP entry or table service at clubs, which either doesn't exist or is significantly less than what was promised and paid for. Additionally, the city has seen a rise in slot machine scams, where individuals offer winning strategies or devices for a fee, which are, of course, ineffective. Understanding what genuinely impacts your journey while away from home is crucial. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or embarking on your first overseas adventure, I'm here to introduce you to a key accessory that will undoubtedly revolutionize your travel experience. The game changer in travel gear, the Fuel Small Crossbody. This isn't merely a bag. It's your safeguard and convenience rolled into one, 
designed for those who love to delve into new experiences, hands-free and carefree. Picture yourself meandering through vibrant street markets, snapping photos or savoring local delicacies with both hands, all while your valuables remain secure and within reach. That's the peace of mind and flexibility the Fuel Small Crossbody offers on every journey. This bag isn't just practical. It's a fusion of style and innovation, drawing inspiration from the sleek, forward-thinking design of McLaren. Despite its compact size, it effortlessly accommodates all your travel necessities, from your smartphone and wallet to your passport and beyond. Thanks to its secure yet easily accessible compartments, everything you need is just a swift zip away. Whether you're weaving through bustling cityscapes or taking in the tranquility of nature, the Fuel Small Crossbody stands as your quintessential travel ally. Click the link below to unlock an exclusive discount and elevate your travel experience with the Fuel Small Crossbody, your first step towards smarter, safer, and more stylish adventures. Number 17. In Moscow, Russia. The grandeur is real, but so are the taxi scams, especially from the airport. Moscow's grandeur and history attract many, but tourists should be wary of taxi scams, particularly from the airport where unofficial taxis charge exorbitant rates. A recent development is the rise of fake booking websites for tourist attractions and shows, which collect payment for tickets that are invalid or never delivered. Additionally, there are reports of bar scams where tourists are lured into bars or clubs by friendly locals, only to be presented with a vastly inflated bill. Number 18. Dubai, UAE, where luxury meets deception. Dubai is known for its luxury shopping and futuristic architecture, but tourists can encounter scams such as overpriced tours that promise more than they deliver. A modern scam involves the sale of counterfeit electronics or luxury goods at markets or unofficial retailers, where tourists are tempted with high-end products at seemingly bargain prices, only to find the items are fake. Additionally, Dubai has seen incidents of rental car scams where tourists are charged for pre-existing damage upon returning the vehicle. This often involves unclear contracts or inspections conducted under poor lighting to miss existing damages, leading to disputes and unexpected charges. Number 19, Budapest, Hungary. A city of thermal baths and stunning views. Budapest's stunning architecture and thermal baths attract tourists, but it's also known for its currency exchange scams. Unwary tourists may be approached by individuals offering to exchange currency at favorable rates, only to find they've been given obsolete currencies or less than promised. A modern variant involves ATMs that are rigged to charge exorbitant withdrawal fees or offer poor exchange rates, specifically targeting foreigners. The city also has its share of restaurant scams, where tourists are charged service fees or items at prices significantly higher than those listed, often in establishments near major tourist sites. Number 20. Lastly, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. A blend of modernity and tradition, but not without its scams. The capital city, with its blend of modern skyscrapers and vibrant street markets, has seen an increase in credit card skimming, particularly at ATMs and less reputable merchants. Tourists might unknowingly have their card information stolen when making transactions, leading to unauthorized charges. A current example includes fake websites offering discounted tours or services that require upfront payment only for the service to be non-existent. Additionally, Kuala Lumpur has instances of friendly local scams, where individuals offer unsolicited help or tours, leading tourists to overpriced shops or restaurants where the scammer gets a kickback for every purchase made by the tourist. And there you have it, fearless travelers, the top 20 cities where staying alert is key. Remember, being forewarned is being forearmed. With the insights from today's journey, you're now better equipped to dodge those pesky scams and focus on what really matters, making unforgettable memories around the world.
I hope you found this guide both enlightening and entertaining. If you've ever encountered a travel scam or have tips of your own to share, I will love to hear from you in the comments below. Your experiences could help fellow travelers navigate these tricky situations with ease. Don't forget to like, share, and comment to help spread the word and keep our travel community informed and empowered. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Park and Post for more travel tips, destination guides, and scam alerts, all designed to make your travel experiences smoother and more enjoyable. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening adventure. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and above all, travel smart. Safe travels, everyone. We'll catch you in the next video.